What is going on everyone? Today I want to explore the new NVIDIA AI Blueprint for 3D object generation. I remember being quite impressed with the first NVIDIA AI Blueprint that I came across a couple of months ago that was essentially a bridge between Blender and Comfy UI, allowing users to use things like the Flux One dev model directly within Blender for guided generative control. Well, recently, NVIDIA reached out to me regarding the release of a new blueprint for 3D object generation, but with a twist. This new NVIDIA blueprint gives you a pipeline to generate 3D objects in bulk, starting from a scene idea. This way, you can prototype scenes quickly or use these draft scenes as guidance for image generation. So in a nutshell, the blueprint uses a combination of three AI models. An LLM, that being Meta's Llama, for generating object recommendations and associated prompts. Those prompts are then converted into image previews using NVIDIA Sauna. And then finally, Microsoft Trellis is used to convert those images into 3D objects. From there, you can import into Blender using an asset management plugin that is also included within the NIM installer. So starting off with installation, I'm going to provide a link to the GitHub page with full instructions down in the description below. One important requirement to mention here is your hardware. These were designed for NVIDIA GPUs. Keep in mind that AI models eat up a lot of memory. They do also mention this is compatible with an RTX 4080, which I'm pretty sure is at 16 gigs of VRAM. Uh, and they also say that wider support is coming down the road. To start installation, I'm going to open up a new command prompt and we're going to use winget commands to install miniconda3 as well as git. From there, they include a nim installer which will handle all of the necessary system components as well as install the blender add-ons that are associated with the blueprint. Speaking of which, you're going to need Blender. They tested with Blender 4.2 LTS, so I'm going to be using the same version in my showcase today. The final installation step is to clone the blueprints from their GitHub page and then run the installer script to set that up. Once that is finished, you can now start the service either the manual way within a terminal window or alternatively, you can open up Blender, go to Edit, Preferences, and then Add-ons. And now you'll see this new 3D object generation as well as asset importer plugin available here after running the NIM installer. So enable those and then check on this right panel here and you'll be able to initialize the services from here if you'd like. So I'm going to set this up the manual way. So I'm going to find my 3D object generation folder that we cloned. And in the path here, I'm going to type CMD to open up a new terminal window from that folder. Next, I'm going to type in conda activate trellis. I'm then going to type python app.py to run the startup script. So once that is finished, a new browser window should pop up. If it doesn't, you can find the localhost URL in the terminal and control click on that to open it up. So from here, we're going to wait for the LLM and trellis containers to finish setting up. For me, it took around 10 minutes. So wait until the service checker says ready, and then we're all set up and ready to go. Now, the thing that I like about this is that it's not focused on just generating one singular model at a time. In the prompt here, we want to describe an overall scene that we want to make. So I'm going to say a medieval blacksmith workshop. And now if we run this and we look at the terminal, we can see the LLM kicking into gear to generate prompts for objects related to that general scene that I just described. Another thing that I noticed is this paragraph here, which gives me some info on how these objects could be arranged together, which I thought was pretty neat. It's just some nice food for thought for how we could take these individual objects and arrange them into an overall scene that we would like in the end. So from here, it will generate image previews for those object ideas, and then you can go in and customize the objects or prompts before we convert to 3D. So for example, if I don't like how this image turned out, I can hit the refresh button to generate a new image for that prompt. Or alternatively, if I want to generate something new, I can select this icon to alter the prompt or create a new prompt for any object that I want to generate. So once you're satisfied with all of the images, you can go ahead and click convert to 3D and it'll batch process those images into 3D models using Trellis. Once that's finished, we can hit export objects and then hop back over into Blender. From here, all we have to do is switch over to that asset importer plugin and then simply hit the folder to go to the desired path where we exported our objects. You're going to see everything organized by overall scene prompt that we selected at the beginning. So I'm going to select the blacksmith forge and there we go. To make this easier, I'm just going to put all of these objects here into their own collection and then I'm going to hide that collection for now. 
Next, I'm gonna switch over to my asset browser in Blender, then I'll select current file, and now we have everything named and organized here, ready to drag and drop into our scene. Whereas before you may have spent hours sourcing or modeling placeholder objects just to block out your scenes, now you can use this tool as a pipeline for concepting your 3D scenes within minutes. So for my particular scene here, I'm going to follow that suggested layout prompt that was generated in the beginning just to help guide me through setting up all of my assets here. And then I'm going to play around with some flickering lights and I'll use some stock footage uh, set to emission just to emit light and flames from this forge asset to really set the mood. So all in all, I'm really excited to see NVIDIA putting out these tools that are combining these different models. I think that everything's popping up so quickly. Sometimes it can be overwhelming when you see all of these different individual tools. Well, with a blueprint like this, we have a great example of how we can combine them together and incorporate them into our traditional pipeline to help solve any bottlenecks that we run into. I can definitely see a lot of benefit for this for people like indie developers, as uh, someone who is taking on a lot of different tasks solo and always switching from one software to the next in my own creative process. I know how much of a daunting task it is to try and bring your idea to life uh, when you're just by yourself and there's not a team of people around you. So that's where my thoughts lie with this project. Let me know in the comments what you guys think down below. If you want to read up more on this, I'm going to leave blog posts and any other relevant information down in the description below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting, and I'll see you in the next one.